Hey YouTube, this is Alexander, and earlier this week Google released the second Android N developer preview and a few things have been changed. Let's go ahead and take a look. So the first real noticeable change is the folder icon. Folders now show the first four apps in the folder with the small icons. It's not a huge change and I never really use folders on my devices, but I think it looks kind of nice. The next new change on the home screen though comes from moving apps around. So the new animation has the zoom out effect while you're holding the app that you want to move around and the app info screen has been moved to the bottom as opposed to being up top like it is right now. It's not my favorite place, but then again, I don't think it's going to be a huge deal if they leave it there. It just looks a little weird to me. Anyway, a much bigger and more welcomed addition is the ability to set a separate lock screen and home screen wallpaper. It's a wonder why this wasn't here earlier in stock Android, but I'm glad it's here now. Up in the quick toggles page, we have a new shortcut to open the calculator app. There's definitely a delay here, and I don't know why Google chose the calculator app among all things. It's just a really random addition, and I hope we don't start seeing other apps joining in. This area, I feel, should be reserved for quick toggles rather than apps. However, one helpful addition is the clear all button for the recent apps. I do hope that they find a way to bring it to the front of the multitasking area rather than making us scroll all the way to the last app to see it, but it's a nice start to a much needed feature. Now digging a little deeper, we also have a slightly modified camera app in both look and function. The blue ring is gone from the shutter button and the flip camera button is now a circular shape. The biggest addition is the return of the shutter button while recording a video. Google had removed this a while ago, so it's nice to see it make a comeback for those of you who like taking pictures while you're recording a video. There are also some redesigned emoji, including the faces, people, and families. I know that there are some people who really don't care at all about emoji or the way they look or any changes to them, but I welcome the more standard look the faces have, realistic head shapes, and detail and color in the families. Lastly, notifications now has an option for you to quickly reply to messages from the lock screen, even if your phone requires a code to unlock it. Now, it might be useful to some people who are constantly texting and hate having to enter their pin, pattern, or fingerprint just to reply, but it will also allow those who don't have a passcode to your phone to reply, so just keep that in mind. So those are pretty much all the new added or changed features in the second developer preview of Android N. Of course, there are probably under the hood tweaks to make it run smoother and eliminate bugs. Anyway though, that's going to end it for this video. If there are any features or tweaks that I've missed, leave a comment down below. I hope you all enjoyed and have a great Friday and an awesome weekend, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.